Welcome back to Quad Cities today at 11. It's time for Kyle's Weather Classroom. We are in that time of year where we can have relatively warm days and chilly nights. And that's all thanks to something that we call radiational cooling. You've probably heard us talk about it quite a bit here in the weather uh, in the weather center. So let's kind of give yesterday as an example. We had high temperatures, upper 50s to low 60s, couple degrees warmer today. We had all that sunshine yesterday with just a few clouds. Those clouds dissipated at night and the wind lightened up. So that allowed temperatures to really drop very quickly and our overnight lows uh, waking up early this morning, upper 20s to low 30s. So yes, our first round of frost, at least some widespread frost of the season, kind of a little more of that here heading into tonight. But what causes that drop in temperature? Well, it is radiational cooling, and here's the NOAA glossary definition. It's the cooling of the Earth's surface at night. The Earth's surface is at a, a, a net heat loss uh, to space due to terrestrial cooling. This is more pronounced when you have a clear sky and a relatively light wind. So what does that exactly mean? Well, during the day, solar radiation heats the ground and of course the air we call this short wave radiation so basically what happens at night is we try to get that to go back up into space it's released in the form of long wave radiation However, if there's clouds present, that long wave, wave radiation kind of gets trapped underneath. So think of this as if it's a blanket. It keeps you warmer at night, so the clouds act as a blanket and keep that solar radiation towards the ground, which leads to a warmer night. But if we have a clear sky, there's nothing blocking that, so that radiation is able to escape back up into space, and that creates those cooler temperatures. And many times, if we have that clear sky and the light wind, that temperature can get close to the dew point, especially in the fall and winter months, and that can create the frost. We'll take a final look at that forecast coming up after the break.